So this is rhubarb. We have a rhubarb patch behind our house here in the backyard. And uh, as you can tell, it's huge and it is ready to pick. So uh, before I get started picking the rhubarb, uh, I want to prune it. If you can see here, this is a flower bud. Uh, and in order for the rhubarb to keep producing big stems, which is the part we eat, we want to stop it from putting all its energy into creating seeds. So the first thing I do is take my knife and just cut down. I'll come down to the uh, where the stem, uh, the stalk meets the leaf, and I'm just going to cut off all the flower buds. These things can grow huge, big, tall stalks that'll shoot up like five feet with big flowers. So I'm going to pick these off first, and then when it comes time to pick rhubarb, you don't actually cut it. I'm going to put my knife down. I'm going to look for the biggest, fattest stems. Come in here. Oh, and there's one right there. And then what you do is you put your hand down. Can you see this? You put your hand down at the base of the plant, and I'm going to try to dislodge it. It's going to make a, like a dislocating sound. And you can tell you've done it right when you see the cup, the spoon, where it attached to the uh, main part of the plant. So this is a rhubarb leaf. As you can tell, the leaf is huge. And so is the stem. That's the part we eat. This part is deadly poisonous. Never ever eat the leaf off a rhubarb plant. It has oxalic acid in it. It'll kill you. So I cut it off. And I'll bring this inside. I'm going to make a ginger rhubarb compote. It's like a thick jelly. It's going to be really good. And this, and this is going to go in the compost. All the poisons will leach out by the time I put it in my garden. I don't have to worry about that. Makes great compost. I'm going to keep picking rhubarb, and uh, I'll see you next time. What does your wife make that's really good with the rhubarb? Rhubarb bars.